let me remove this cover this is a loose lid we can remove easily now you can see inside these are the four nozzle pipes to release the air so your liquid will be always below this this hole level so that the air can be removed easily if it is deep deepen inside the liquid then air won't get the outer access and your bottle may overflow or the liquid not fill at all because the air is not leaving the bottle this is the float valve so this is your inlet actually this one is your inlet connection you can connect if uh, with the pump or uh, manual pipeline so once it moves up the level will uh, the level of liquid can be only up to this level above this it will it won't let let you fill until you pour manually so in case of you are pouring liquid manually then you need to make it sure that these holes of the nozzles won't get deepen into the liquid and this is the safer outlet we can say so that's it about the hopper suppose you want to clean the clean the hopper then it's very easy once the all the product get finished you can open the nozzle from here you can open these bolts to remove the nozzle and you will able to remove such nozzle and you can even dismantle it to clean it this nozzle also can be dismantled if i remove it completely you can clean it or you can clean with the hot water brush and then refit it again at this position so let's look at the lower part now as you see we have removed the cover the front cover now there are two pneumatic cylinders the one and the second one now let's understand the components these are the flow control valve so by this we can control the air flow and what effect it will have if i if i make it loose uh, means if i make it loose the cylinder will move up faster and for this this can control the lower movement and this can control the upper movement so if if we open it loosen it it will move faster if we want to move slowly then we need to fix it or uh, rotate in the clockwise direction okay now this is our stud suppose we have a multiple size bottle this is the bigger bottle but if your bottle is little bit smaller and uh, the settings are not working for you then we can take this whole assembly these are the two nuts i can lose it and make the whole assembly little bit up so this plate can go up to this so you can do the bottle smaller than this up to 1 inch say 1 inch if your bottle are smaller then you can take this up assembly upside and you can do smaller bottle also now maintenance wise as you can see all these are linear bearings 1 2 3 4 and 4 upside so you need to do the regular oiling and greasing on this guide guide rods to make the movement smoother uh, you can do the greasing and oiling once a week so that's it all about the maintenance part and the uh, the oiling part suppose uh, you have some issues like uh, with the suppose you are um, Uh, moving the switch but the cylinders are not moving up then you may have the problem with this sol solenoid valves please show it from from the close so these are the solenoid valves which switch the air alternatively to make the cylinder up or down if the solenoid valve is not working the cylinder movement will not happen so only electric thing here is solenoid valve if it is not working then please understand and you can replace this valve these are available normal uh, hardware or pneumatic shops so that's it uh, about the lower part there is nothing complicated to operate okay